Hello everyone, welcome to the Track Focus Direct instructional video for the CPI flash. These are the components of the CPI flash. We have the CPI flash USB key and this contains the installer program for your laptop and it also contains the tuning files that you can upload onto your car. The other component is the cable. It's a USB cable with the OBD2 plug on the other end which plugs into the vehicle. And uh, next we need to plug it into, the, into a computer. So here I have uh, my old trusty netbook. Not the fastest of machines but it's quite sufficient for using the CPI flash. I'm just going to plug the two devices into two available USB ports on the machine. And uh, next we'll move on to installing the software. So to install the software I'm going to put my USB key in again. And it should come up on the screen. So I'll quickly go through what files we have on here. So there's uh, there's a warning readme first file, which is just some basic instructions of how to go through the process that I'm going to show you now. Um, there's the mod files. These are the tuning files. The there's one called update with me first. This is uh, you must flash this to the car first before you flash a tune file on because this brings the car up to the latest Ford calibrations. And then once that's done then you can go and install one of the uh, tuning files. So this key has the three stage maps for the Focus RS Mark II. So now I'm going to install the, uh, the .exe. And uh, very, very simple install. Just going to click next as we go through. And this old netbook is not the fastest computer in the world, but uh, it works fine for this. And then it's finished installing. Uh, and uh, I'm going to run the iFlash software. Accept the legal notice when it first comes up. And we can quickly do some checks here to see if the computer has enough performance to do the flash and uh, we can also verify that the cable driver is working. So let's click next. Uh, this is checking the computer, make sure the system has uh, sufficient battery power and uh, computer speed to uh, work with the iFlash. Everything's green so this is good. On the next screen, so normally you would go up to the car and you plug the cable into the car but just for the purpose of this test we can click next and at least we uh, we can see that the first uh, two checks have uh, been successful um, we've got a warning to say that the USB voltage is too low but that's because we're not plugged into the car at this stage so I'm going to OK that and close the software down and the next step is to go and plug it into the car and do the flashing procedure so here we are at the car with my trusty netbook. I'm going to take the CPI flash cable, plug it under the dashboard into the OBD port on the car. Turn the ignition to on. And then now we're ready to launch the CPI flash software and start installing maps onto the car. Okay, now we're ready to install tunes onto the car. So the ignition's on, the cable's connected launch the software, accept the legal notice and press next on the next screen to start checking the laptop. Everything is good. Now next this will check uh, the communication with the device and also the car and it will also verify the license. So my cable has been used before so it's already paired to my vehicle so we won't see the prompt to uh, the prompt about this but uh, if you're doing this for the first time you'll get a little message about pairing for, to the vehicle for the first time okay so it's detected my car my VIN number everything's good press next so on this screen we've got a variety of options but what, we're, what we want to do here is program the ECU memory so this now points me to the USB key and as I said earlier on 
first of all we need to update with update with me first file which brings the Ford calibrations up to date in the ECU so this takes a while longer than just installing the tunes this takes approximately four minutes but you only have to do it once when it comes to installing the tunes later on they take about 17 or 18 seconds so it's very very quick and easy to swap between maps if you have more than one okay so we're nearly done I think this has been faster than four minutes this is looking like it's just going to be about three and a quarter minutes Okay, so now we need to turn the ignition off. Ignition's off. Okay, so the base calibrations have been successfully programmed into the ECU and now we can turn the ignition key back on and now we can program it with one of the high performance tunes so I'm going to go straight for the Focus RS CP420 stage 3 map choose that and you'll see here this is much much quicker so it should take about 17 or 18 seconds to install and you can just change between maps as often as you like if you have more than one and it always takes this long to install. Ignition off. And that's it. Tune successfully installed. close the software down there. So now we're done, we can take the laptop out of the way, unplug the cable from the OBD port, start the engine, see if it works. Everything is good, now we can take it for a test drive. Thanks for listening.